Lots of countries have some very strange place names, and Poland is no exception. Poland is a place of many wonders. The heights of the Tatras, the coast of the Baltic, the lakes of Warmia Mazuria, and in every corner of this great land, some of the weirdest place names ever recorded. The end of the world! Believe it or not, Konyec Sviata is just the start of a very long list. Places like Potforov and Białokow. Am I reading this right? White Poo. There is a place in Poland called White Poo. <laughs> Sound like they were made up by a five-year-old. Whilst others, like Niezna Novica, Unknown. obviously had no effort put into them at all. And then there's Mikowajki, which points to an even greater conspiracy. In this list, we're looking at 10 of the weirdest place names in Poland, from major cities to the tiniest backwaters in the Polska. I'm gonna enjoy this one. I love finding weird and wonderful place names. I know the UK has so many, and I'm excited to learn about Poland's ones. Number 10, Częstochowa, often hidden. This often hidden. I'm gonna assume it's in like, it's, it's low down, something that is maybe in a, not, it's, it's a little bit like Bath is in the UK where it's in a valley. That's what I'm going to assume. This city is located in Silesia, the mountainous region in the southwest of Poland. And in medieval times, when you were approaching from the old capital of Kraków, travelers would be constantly ascending and descending the hills to the south of the city. That makes sense. Thus, Częstochowa would frequently come into sight at a peak and then disappear again in the valley. Częstochowa. Hmm. Częstochowa. I tak dalej, i tak dalej. Some historians, however, believe that Częstochowa actually means place of Częstoch, whoever Częstoch was. Number nine. That makes sense though, not the place of whatever. Uh, but as I assumed, it's sort of in a valley. It's, it's lower than the other parts of the country, maybe. Ostatni grosz, last penny. According to legend, the guy who settled here had gambled all his money away quite literally down to his last penny. No. With that last coin in his pocket, he purchased the land on which the village of Ostatni Grosh now resides. For one penny. No, Inflation has really right. driven up land prices in Poland. Number I, I don't, I, that can't be right. I don't know why it would be called last penny, but maybe there's a translation problem there. But I don't know if that story is right. That doesn't sound right, does it? Eight, Kowobzeg, around the coast. This one seems logical enough, it's not weird. as Kowobzeg is located on the Baltic coast and is a very popular summer holiday spot Looks for nice. Poles, Germans and Danes. However, it's the German version of the name that we like to giggle at. After centuries of German influence, Kowobzeg has slowly evolved into its German equivalent, Kolberg. In this form, the German to English translation could be read <laughs> as Cabbage Mountain, <laughs> Mountain. which sounds quite... <laughs> That got me to start off with us thinking, that's not weird at all. But I understand where he went with it. That was a bit of a curveball, cabbage mountain. Nice. Quite bizarre to say the least. <laughs> Number seven, Zakopane, buried. If you came to Poland to ski, this is the place you'll most likely be headed. The only reason why I could assume it might be called buried is because it is right at the bottom of, of Poland. And so buried, the bottom, deep, that would be the only sort of reason I could think of. Zakopane is a major center in the Tatra mountain range. There's no indication of exactly what's been buried here, but considering all the slopes and the high amount of snowfall annually, it makes you wonder if the place has ever been prone to avalanches. Number six, Vzesz, shout. A suburb of the Baltic city of Gdańsk, Vzesz has become popular for all its cafes and vegan restaurants. However, shout is not some sort of ironic hipster statement. The etymology of Vzesz comes from the old name for the area, Vzost, which comes from Vzos, the Polish and Kashubian word for heather. So, at some point in ages past, the area of Vzesz used to be a forest or field populated with heather, not hipsters. Number five, I don't get that one. Piekwo, 
hell. Oh. Did you know that there are at least seven different localities in Poland called hell? We've been through this though. Poland has been through a lot. Uh, and, and at some times I'm sure it could feel like hell. Uh, and that's not me being derogative about the Poles. Um, you guys have gone through a lot over the years. But to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven places named after hell. Wow. And especially considering how religious, religious Poland is and hell being obviously hell. Hmm. Which is kind of ironic for such a devoutly Catholic nation. <laughs> I just said. The reason behind these namesakes are hard to determine. One of these towns is located on a bend of the Vistula River, and apparently it's been prone to flooding for centuries, resulting in a huge loss of life, not to mention the destruction of property and farmland. So these place names may or may not have been influenced by natural disasters and hardship, no. or perhaps they're just really genuinely awful places to live. <laughs> if you are from hell, please let me know in the comments, and is it really hell living where you are? It's also worth mentioning that there is actually a place called Hell, H-E-L, which ah. is on the peninsula of the same name. In Old Polish, this apparently meant empty. Though in modern Polish, Hell translates into English as Helium. To well, further drive the point well, yeah. home, there is only one bus route that exists on the peninsula, <laughs> and its number is 666. Number four, Wuj, boat. Locally, there is certainly no confusion about the meaning of the word, considering the fact that the city's coat of arms is just that, a boat. The My only question on this one is, is it located near the sea? No, clearly not. It looks like it's right, in, right slap bang in the middle of Poland. Secondly, is it on a river? If it's not, then why is it called boat? The irony, of course, is that Wuj is at least 250 kilometers <laughs> inland from yeah. the nearest major body of water. Be, so why the rivers. name? Well, the truth is, no one really knows. While there's a few small rivers that run through the city, the city has never actually been known as a river-bound trading hub. Unfortunately, we'll have to put this one in the don't know boat. Any suggestions, please tell me why the hell is it called boat? <laughs> that does, it doesn't even make sense, that one. Number three, Tsutsuv, Titsville. <laughs> While most of you are having a giggle at this rather infantile name, the truth <laughs> is that this little conservative town in the southeast of Poland probably has no adult entertainment to speak of. The name most likely refers to a percale <laughs> factory that probably existed here many centuries ago. The old Polish word for percale is tsits from the Dutch word sits. Nowadays, however, sits is slang for a woman's breasts, a very different meaning indeed. I have never used sits for a, uh, I've used tits, but not sits. Number two, Przemysl. Think about it. The city of Przemysl has a long, rich history thanks to its unique geographic location. This gap in the Subcarpathian mountain range, known as the Przemysl Gate, has led to its natural evolution as a trading route. Unfortunately, no one has any concrete theories about the etymology of the city's name. If any linguists out there have any suggestions, leave a comment below and we'll think about it. Yeah, that's a really, really odd one as well. I think possibly what may happen is there's a, there's a, the translation is slightly off, or maybe over time things have changed with slight slight letter changes and whatnot. Um, and if you think of obviously with with Poland, similar to the UK, where there's been basically a lot of invaders, you get influences from from other cultures and nations. So maybe that is a reason why translations end up being a little bit off. And now for some honourable mention: Helm. helmet. Lips. And now for some. And now. Time. Time. And now for some honorable mentions. Ustka. Lips. Nice. Helm. Helmet. Grabaja. Gravediggers. Sucha psina. Dry doggy. And stara zasada. <laughs> old dog. rules. Which coincidentally is next door to nova zasada. <laughs> new rules. Number one. Zwemienso. Bad meat. 
bad meat. This small village in northern Poland takes the award for both the weirdest and most sinister name on our list. The name has existed on record since the late 15th century as its German equivalent, Bersenfleisch. According to legend, a number of travellers had gone missing in the area, and after several years of investigation, it was discovered that all these individuals were guests of the village inn. It was further revealed that the innkeeper had not only murdered these guests, but also had fed their flesh to other customers. The proprietor was subsequently hanged, and the inn demolished to the ground. Despite this alleged and rather sinister history, the village of Zwemienso has decided to keep its rather bizarre name. See, my thinking of that would be, I think that is a story that has been created to go along with the actual town village name, because surely the village name was there before the, those incidents happened. So I reckon villagers or, or other people have actually come up with that story to fit the narrative of the name. I don't think that is the actual reason. Just saying. How very Polish. Thanks for watching. We hope you found this video informative and I enjoyable. I did. Thank you so much, uh, Poland in your pocket. Another great video. Just weird names. Some of them you can understand why, right? You can understand why places are named, why they are due to the geography. Um, and some... Uh, some are completely like, what the hell? <laughs> Literally, what the hell? <laughs> um, and then some you've got to think, well, maybe there's a, a, a translation problem. Maybe that is the issue. Because when you look at English-speaking countries, like United Kingdom, like Australia, for example, the names haven't been translated. So the names are what they are. Now, the only thing with that is over, over the many years, maybe the meanings are slightly different. Um, like gay used to be happy and now it is a homosexual. Um, little things like that. Whereas, you know, with this, some are just puzzling. Very, very puzzling. But I would like to know if you are from any of these places, let me know and let me know what it's like in those places, please. Thank you so much once again. Make sure you like and subscribe. Follow me along this journey. And if you want to see any of our vlogs, go to charlieandrob.com. And I will catch you next time.